Detroit's Most Wanted here on Action News has helped catch some of the most dangerous people in our area. Tonight we're on the hunt for another, but it's a story unlike any you've heard before. It involves piles of money, a rap music studio, a mysterious Rolls Royce, and lots of drugs. Here's 7 Action News reporter Anne Marie Lafayne. The U.S. Marshals say Dwayne Richards is the final piece of a group they've been hunting for years. His cousin, the Kingpin, just locked up in California, leaving Richards in charge of the Detroit-based nationwide drug ring. Money, cars, drugs, and guns, all tied to a drug ring the U.S. Marshals say began right here on our streets. This ain't your typical drug dealer on the street level. This guy um, is believed to be the head of an organization um, running that was running the Detroit area. Dwayne Richards at the top of the list for the U.S. Marshals Detroit Fugitive Apprehension Team. They say he's using the rap game to hide his real business. Every young kid wants to be an aspiring rapper. Uh, this guy produces uh, uh, talent here locally in Detroit. Um, he had his company Big Homie Records was his front. Music videos that still grace the internet. Clues in the hunt for Richards and his accomplices. Dwayne Richards was stopped by law enforcement. Um, he had around $400,000 in his possession. And uh, when law enforcement questioned him on it, um, he basically said, that's not my money, I don't know where it is. And he just signed it off, forfeited the money. I mean, no big deal, $400,000 gone, um, and that's it. That's, that's what kind of money we're talking about with this guy. A key piece of evidence, a rented phantom Rolls Royce. This Rolls Royce has been everywhere. It's been in California. It's been at, you know, high-end rapper's house, Snoop Dogg's house, uh, Nate Dogg's funeral. This Rolls Royce just mysteriously pops up everywhere, all over the country. DFAT supervisor Aaron Garcia says this is the car tied to Richard's drug ring. Documented here by MTV, a Snoop Dogg and his wife arrive at rapper Nate Dogg's funeral in Long Beach, California. Garcia says the Rolls was later spotted next to the Queen Mary Ocean Liner. He says it was after a bust at Greektown Casino here in Detroit. The luxury car was found in the back of a semi-trailer just across the border in Indiana. The car, worth several hundred thousand itself, was found alongside this Mercedes and $4 million worth of cocaine. The drug ring busted again earlier this year, a big victory for law enforcement with a capture of Dwayne Richards' cousin, the suspected kingpin of the organization and fugitive for more than 10 years. DEA, along with the U.S. Marshals, arrested uh, the main supplier, Mark Jones, uh, in September. Now they're looking to close the book for good. They say Richards is here in Detroit and certainly well known, bringing serious crime that can be stopped with one phone call from a member of our own community. Drug dealing is a direct nexus to the violent crime. The, the drugs on the street is where we get a lot of the shootings, um, a lot of the murders. When we shut him down, um, we shut down his organization who's operating here in Detroit. We need this guy in custody. Take a good look at Dwayne Richards. There is a reward for information leading to his arrest, and you can call the U.S. Marshals 24-7 with any information. That number, 313-234-5656. I'm Anne-Marie Laflame, 7 Action News.